Hi, I'm Greg Byrne, Director of Athletics at the University of Arizona. I'm here with Coach Sean Miller, men's basketball, and Coach Nia Butts from women's basketball. And we wanted to give you a sneak peek today of everything that's been going on with the McHale Center renovations. Uh, coaches, talk a little bit about uh, this impact that it's going to have from a recruiting standpoint. Well, for us in women's basketball, it's already had a tremendous impact. Um, obviously, uh, this year we're playing with the top 25 recruiting class, and that was all based on a vision uh, of this very uh, upgrade to McHale, the locker rooms, um, all of that stuff. And so it's, it's going to be a huge boost uh, for us as far as recruiting goes and when we bring recruits in to see uh, one of the best facilities, not only in the country, but certainly in the Pac-12. Coach Miller? You know, we've always had a, an amazing environment in McHale, especially on game day. You know, to me, our, our competitive advantage in recruiting more than anything else is the 14,500 fans we get for every game. Now, in addition to that, to me, we have a brand new arena. You know, the court's new, the lights are new, every seat in the house is new, and then obviously the amenities for our players, uh, it, it's not in, an attempt for us to go overboard as much as it is an attempt to compete for a national championship. So that regardless of where any of the prospects that we're recruiting visit, none of them will ever leave with an impression that Arizona doesn't have what so-and-so has. We now, uh, we have, uh, in my mind, the best of the best across the board. One of the things we talk about all the time is how do our facilities look when our recruits come in and it's empty. Now all of a sudden, uh, Mikhail was 40 years old, and we're changing the face of it and the look of it to where there's, as Coach Miller says, there's pop. Talk about that impact on, on recruiting as well. Well, I, I would just say this, that I think at this point, uh, and we've had seven recruiting classes, uh, over 80%, maybe even a little bit more, of the players that have committed to us or have signed our entire team right now did it when they walked into McHale Center without a crowd. It's very difficult to entertain a prospect during our season because they have their season too. The most convenient times are the fall and the spring and in the summer months. And as you know, Greg, when you bring someone in at that period of time, they don't have 14,500. They only have actually the infrastructure of the building. And in many cases, I think Nia will, will agree with this, you're not allowed to leave campus because it's an unofficial visit. So the entertainment value of that day or that weekend is what you have here. You're clearly at the mercy of, of what you have here on campus. And again, uh, has things changed? No question. It's a huge game changer from that perspective. That's great. What about you, Nia? Just from the video board, the new floor, to the, uh, the seating, talk about it, that impact. It's not often times that I'm speechless. And when it all came together for us, it, it, it was a speechless moment for me because when you walk in, it's, it's breathtaking. Uh, everybody, I mean, I think the dark blue seats um, offer some, you know, a dramatic appeal, uh, not only with the lighting. I mean, when you talk about this is pro lighting, um, everyone likes it. I mean, we've had about four or five recruits uh, come on campus since we've opened it up um, to the public and everybody can see it and to have them kind of walk onto the floor and the spotlight be on them. I mean, it's a great feel, so I can't wait to tip it off. Sounds great. Let's go take a look at the, the new locker room areas. As a team walks off the court or enters the court from the new tunnel in the south end zone, uh, this is the new hallway area that we're going to have some pretty cool graphics throughout. First of all, to my right, we're going to do a, a, a recognition and appreciation for Cole and Jeannie Davis and all that they've done for the Arizona basketball and Arizona athletics. On top of that, Coach, we're going to start talking about branding uh, from Arizona men's basketball and be an evolution through the hallway of Arizona women's basketball and also volleyball down, down the road. What does it mean for you in having that being able to show our history? Well, the first thing is the entry to the court is always a huge thing for players and the team. You think about how a lot of college football teams leave their locker room and enter the football field, touch the rock, uh, touch a, p a piece or a part of the wall. Well, you know, here we have a whole new corridor. We're coming right out in the end zone in the past. We didn't have that. But you're right, Greg, this whole area is an opportunity to showcase uh, what we call a player's program, the rich tradition and history from a team perspective, accomplishment perspective, and sometimes just an individual player, what they've done while they're here and what they've done since they've left. So if you can imagine, and we'll take our time doing it, I'm sure this year it won't be, won't be finished, but soon after this will become priority number one of making sure that we get this, this part right. Let's jump in the locker room area here. 
You know, two things we commemorate inside here, and, and it's more team, because this is a locker room. And as much as this is about each individual player accomplishing their own dreams and goals, we have to do it in a team setting, and a locker room represents that. So really, this will be a showcase of our four final four teams and the next level. And I think the reason we chose the next level, and it's important for me to share this with our fans, is you know the, the now, I believe, nine or 10 Elite Eights. And if you say, Coach, why would you commemorate Elite Eights? Because it's as much to compete for a Final Four as it is to actually be there. And I think one of the things about our tradition that's second to none is the number of times we have knocked on the door over a 25 year period to compete for a national championship. And to me, that's more significant sometimes than the actual moments that it happens. So on this side, I think we have the ability to showcase those teams that made it all the way to that next tier, the Elite Eight and the four Final Fours. And obviously, Greg, our goal is to add to this. We want to save some space. Uh, Clearly, nobody's more hungry than this year's team and what we're doing to, to get there again. And uh, obviously, things like this are help us get there in the path. No, no question about it. Again, back to what we talked about. If the month is September or May and we don't have a game to showcase and you're trying to build what it's going to be like here, do we have the best of everything for them to reach their goals and dreams? Not only on the court, but also academically. And I think the one thing you'll see when we enter here there's an amazing amount of time that kids spend in their own facilities and locker rooms, many times in between classes where they're able to do academic work. So it, it goes hand in hand. And I think that if you're gonna stay here in the summer and you're gonna take summer classes, that helps towards your graduation. Why would you stay here in the summer if we don't have anything for you though? If we have the best of everything, it allows guys to feel good about being here in the summer months, which again, burns towards getting their degree and at the same time developing who they are as an athlete. We don't want to show all our cars, but I think we've got some pretty cool lighting that's going to come in here and some graphics that will uh, really have a lot of pop again like we talked about. So let's go on into the rest of the locker room here. So here we are in the team video room just for men's basketball. And uh, Coach, tell them what, what's going to happen in here. Well, prior to this um, latest renovation, our locker room was a catch-all. We used it for everything. And as we move back into our actual locker room, it's obviously state of the art, something we're very proud of and, and very new. And Cole and Jeannie Davis gave a tremendous gift to allow that to happen a few years ago. But with this now, this is about watching our own team and watching our opponent. This will be the place that will be prior to tip off. We'll spend an amazing amount of time in here watching our own team practices, clips, etc. We can have part of the team in here in a small group. We can have our entire team. And what you don't see is, is the movie theater seating that hasn't arrived yet. Obviously, uh, we're down the home stretch of the construction phase, but you can see that plenty spacious enough to, to house our entire basketball team. And I think something that the other part of it from a recruiting perspective, we're able to bring in families in this area away from the locker room where you can have mom, you can have uh, a sister, you can have dad, and, and obviously the prospect all in here, and bring to life some of the things that we're really, really proud of.